Hey, so today we're going to look at port groups. So what are port groups? Port groups are logical groupings of ports. Pretty self-explanatory there. Um, sometimes they're functional groups that you would put together like you might want to see all your, uh, your trunk ports. And you can also use them as service groups. You might want to put all the ports that are related to your exchange service or your internet service or your SharePoint service. So let's take a look at how that works. So here we are again on the IMC homepage. I'm going to go up to Resource and Port Group. So you can see I've got one here that is an internet service, but let's go and set a new one up. So we're going to go and click on Add. Then we have the opportunity to put a, a name up. So let's put together the trunk ports. I want to see all the, uh, the dot one q trunk ports, get an idea of my inner switch bandwidth. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go click on select my HP 5500EI. And this is uh, in, in my little home network. This switch basically acts as the core, connects to routers and some other devices. So I'm going to collect the two, two ports, um, 2 and 23 here, that uh, multiple select them, put them in. These are the two trunk ports. One connects to a downstream switch and one connects to my router. But uh, maybe I also want to include the router here. So let's include Fast Ethernet 01 on the Cisco router, and we'll bind this together. And now I've basically created a, a path which gives me all the devices that I want um, all together. You know, let, let's also go and look at this Synology box, and we'll take, um, we'll take some ports off of that as well. So maybe now I've got a, it's going to be an exchange, for instance. You, know, you, can, you can start to see the flexibility you have with this. Um, and again, we've got uh, access rights. We've got all the interface aliases, all that information. You can sh make sure you got the right ports. Um, it'll show you the speed definition. So again, all the, the networking specific interfaces related to a different service independent of where the, that those ports are actually are in the network. And then, of course, we have customized columns. So we can actually go in here and add additional columns. So in, uh, in yesterday's video, we actually added some performance tasks. So we had um, transmit and receive for interface bandwidth as well as percentage of bandwidth. So let's, let's pick a couple of those. We'll click OK. And now, just to give you an idea of what this looked like, so let's look at, at the internet service first. All right, so we got a few, three ports in there. And this one, I've got. Uh, ESX server. So again, you know that would be what was connected to my specific ESX server. So let's look at the trunk ports that we just connected. So you can see here there's uh, quite a bit of information, and you'll notice that we're actually missing the interface speeds, or sort of the, uh, the the transmit and receive speeds for the last two ports. That's of course because we're not pulling them. So again, go back to the polling performance video and uh, set that up, and we'll get that in here. Um, some ways to filter this, and that's it. See you next time on the next IMC management tutorial.